Welcome back everyone and I'm here again with Ross Benjamin, SPR contributor. And today we're going to be doing a quick pitching report, starting with a couple of games. The first one that we have is the Royals, who will be calling on Jeremy Guthrie and the Diamondbacks, who gave the nod to Vidal Nuno as the starting pitchers. So Ross, fill us in on Jeremy Guthrie's season so far, please. Well, he comes off a very strong start last Friday at Oakland, in which he allowed no earned runs on three hits, struck out six, and walked two. However, his whole body of work over his last five starts has been less than impressive. In the last five outings, he's had an ERA of 7.71 and 1.91 whip during that span. Well, it, definitely those are pretty big numbers in this case, but how about Vidal Nuno? How's his uh, production been since coming from the Yankees in the trade deadline? Well, he was 6-8 and eight against the money with the Yankees, and then he came over to Arizona, and he's encountered some bad luck, Dex. He's gone 0-5 against the money with Arizona. However, he's pitched very well. His ERA is at 3.07. His whip is an excellent 1.06. So he's certainly deserved a lot better fate than he, he's received so far as a member of the Diamondbacks. Right. And in your expert opinion, who do you think gets the edge in this case? Well, I like the way Nuno, Nuno has pitched in the short term here with Arizona, and he's uh, eventually due to be rewarded. Even though Guthrie comes off an impressive performance, my take on him is he's been up and down, sort of bordering on er erratic for the major part of the season. My betting edge here, slight edge, goes to Vidal Nuno over Jeremy Guthrie. All right, now moving on, we have the Dodgers and the Angels series. And today they called on on Hugh Jin Ryu and CJ Wilson for their respective clubs. Now, Ross, in your article today, you spoke about how well Ryu has been pitching on the road this season. But could you illustrate us a little bit more on that, please? I certainly can. He's gone eight and three against the money on the road this season with a stellar 2.89 ERA. He's had one shaky start on the road all season long. That came at Detroit, and a lot of uh, pitchers can look bad facing Detroit at that ballpark, Comerica Park. It also should be noted that he's a perfect four and zero in his last four against the money line with a 2.42 ERA and a 0.96 whip, as well as a 9-to-1 strikeout-to-walk ratio. So he comes into tonight in very good form off his last four starts. All right, my man. And you've been in the industry, in the sports handicapping industry, for quite a while now. So, you know, you know that stats don't really always tell the whole story about the game. Do you think that that applies for this case in this pitching matchup? Uh, that's not only accurate, it's a perfect dis description. You look at C.J. Wilson, and he's uh, been awful in his last five starts. He's posted a 9.38 ERA, a mammoth 2.61 whip, and allowed a staggering six home runs in just 18 innings of work. You look at these two pitchers and how they enter tonight's game, one in very good form, one in absolutely horrible form, a lot of times, stats don't tell the whole story, but this time, the adage of uh, stats tell the story really holds true. I'm going to take the Dodgers' Hun Jin Ru over the Angels' C.J. Wilson tonight as my pitching advantage. All right, my man. Sounds like some good stuff there, Ross. Thanks once again for all your insights, and I'll catch you back tomorrow. Thank you. Always a pleasure. And for sportsbookreview.com, this is Dax Floyd.